Yo, what's up, you guys? It's me, and I'm going to do a brand new episode today. today. I want you guys to show how to farm. And yeah, uh, we're just going to start with talking about the troops. So yeah, the troops has to be uh, pretty cheap troops because you want to uh, save as much elixir as possible because you try to farm. Because farming means that you're trying to save for dark elixir, elixir, and uh, yeah, dark elixir, elixir, and gold. So yeah, if you see uh, the f troops that mostly used by uh, farmers are giants as protection for their goblins because goblins are pretty cheap. Uh, you have uh, also uh, barbarians and archers, also uh, a pretty much used uh, farming strategy. And I think that's, uh, yeah, the most used farming strategy are giants and after them goblins and some archers behind them. And uh, the second one is barging by using only barchers, barbarians and archers. So yeah, uh, how to notice? A, f a farm base. Uh, so yeah, you know the farm base by just down all outside, and the elixir and gold protected by buildings, just like here or something like that. And we can we put down the mortar in uh, the inside uh, and the walls around them. So. Man, it's bad base, but yeah, uh, let's make it something easier to just uh, copy my base. And then will the tunnel will be outside. And the uh, laboratory will be here on the place of the uh, tunnel, and then it will be a sort of farming base. But my gold and elixir are here not so much protected because I'm... Uh, not farming, I am uh, trophy pushing, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm trophy pushing, so yeah, my base is the opposite of a farm base, farm base, how it needs to look. But yeah, you try to protect your gold elixir and dark elixir as most as possible. Your troops are pretty cheap, and you're most of the time attacking an in. If in Inactive base, so yeah, <coughs> inactive bases are like uh, inactive bases are bases with uh, probably most of the time just uh, much bushes around them, um, stones, um, no, not stones, just uh, trees and bushes, and maybe. Uh, yeah, you can also see because uh, if he don't have a logo just like this one here with gold one, then you also notice that this is an inactive base and all his gold are probably in his mines and bombs. And that's uh, something what you want. You want uh, to be his uh, gold and mix are in his mines and pumps because uh, yeah, then you can uh, start them so easy. You don't have to start them. Because you don't go for trophies if you are farming. So yeah, uh, also something you don't do is just uh, not go for starters like I mentioned earlier. But yeah, you're also not trying to be in a too high division for you. If you're searching a long time, a long time and a long time before you see a good base. Because then you're spending much gold in elixir on searching. So yeah, that's also not what you wanted. So yeah, the attack, what I did uh, a few seconds ago, was not a farm attack, so yeah, don't watch it, I just wanted to use my troops. But yeah, you, uh, you, you try to save for upgrades if you're farming, just like uh, try to upgrade your, uh, your wizard tower. Oh yeah, uh, I mentioned earlier, what are the things where you see where is uh, gold and elixir and his mines and pumps. Uh, let's go something farther about it because you can see it because if it's a uh, mine like this one has much gold in this uh, little wood box there 
then you know much of it's cold. There's any mines and pumps in here. If it's bit, if the elixir is going high to the top of the yeah of the cylinder uh, class thing. So yeah, <clears throat> you can also see it about if there are no workers busy at that time because if there are no workers busy. He is probably inactive for a long time because you try to upgrade the most things as possible because you always try to max out your base. So yeah, it's uh, also two things a uh, bonus for to mention if he is inactive. So yeah, uh, we are trying to uh, talk about why you're farming because you're farming uh, for upgrade. Like uh, this wizard tower level five cost around two million of gold. It's pretty. That's much money, so yet you try to save for that, so you can do that and have your wizard tower to the next level. Uh, also, something pretty handy to do is always search in clan wars if the number one player of the other clan has his town all right outside. If he do, you have to attack him just for the gold and elixir you get, because in clan wars you can get just some pretty nice bonuses. So yeah, also something pretty handy to do, uh, you also don't use uh, in farming high cost troops like the golem or the wizard witches, the dragon, the pekka, you just don't try to use them as much as possible because those troops cost much elixir and dark elixir so you don't want to use them as much, you also don't want to use much spells and if you do it will probably be lightning spells or heal spells because those, those don't cost uh, so much elixir so yeah also some pretty handy tips but yeah and um, you don't try to spend as much uh, elixir as possible on your unit spells uh, don't try to uh, use as much god on searching for a good opponent and you just try to save up for the building you want to upgrade, like uh, upgrade all your walls, then just uh, farm for all your walls to upgrade, 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 upgrade. Or just uh, try for upgrading your uh, dark elixir drill, 2 million, yeah, much gold, what, much elixir I mean, what, what should you do? You should farm. So yeah, some things to do, when, so uh, that are some things what you need to do when you're farming and you want to upgrade them so yeah uh, best uh, best league to farm in so yeah uh, if you're town of five the best league to farm in is in uh, silver tree town of six is the best one is uh, gold no not gold man what was say uh, silver one or silver two uh, for town of seven it has to be gold tree for silver one and for uh, tunnel eight, it is a uh, gold three, silver one, silver two. For tunnel nine, it is gold two, uh, gold one, maybe crystal three. And for tunnel ten, it uh, yeah, I recommend that to go to Crystal League and farming Crystal League because there are much inactive bases. So yeah, that are some tips for farming, so yeah, if you learned something about this uh, guide, then, pl child, then please smack that like button, it's really, I really appreciate that. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next episode, peace.